I recently ran into a pretty good stash of late 60s, early 70s color tabletop sets, hybrid and tube, uh, at a shop out of town. And these are four of the six that followed me home. And today we're going to take a look at all six. I took a look at two of them uh, out of town, closer to the location where I picked them up. And then I, I got a little video in this TV shop that I'll show. Real cool guy into vintage sets. And these are some that he was willing to let go. I have no idea the condition. I kind of grabbed them blind. I always preach to test the CRTs first, but in this case I kind of violated my own rule there. But let's just cross our fingers and hope that, uh, hope we got something here worth restoring that's good. So we'll just pop the back off, check the CRT, kind of look at them, get the model number, get the chassis number, just kind of do a quick overview and then in upcoming weeks, months, we'll do individual videos getting each one of these working. We'll start with this one and I need to go get a set of gloves because these things are filthy. They've been sitting on a shelf almost up at the ceiling in this warehouse for who knows how long and they are absolutely what's going on there huh hope, hope that didn't get dropped it's a RCA XL100 color track I believe this is a solid state but man it is still heavy 80 to 100 pounds something like that uh, let me get a pair of gloves it's like I say they're nasty and maybe a rag and let's uh, open them up and see what we got yeah that's a trip that's almost more like the plastic warped from the heat than uh, anything else because it's tight here and here anyway it's got a photo cell right there to adjust the brightness for based on the uh, is that broken it adjusts the brightness based on the how bright it is in the room it is a FA 465 B this is probably from about 1975 so let's get it open and yeah it's dirty it's everything in this warehouse was covered with uh, just like this right here just thick modular set uses a power transformer and it looks like it uses an oil filled capacitor there power factor correction or one of these constant voltage transformers uses this lovely bell thing that a lot of these RCA's used in this I guess that's just an inductor I don't know I haven't worked on that many of these I know they use uh, two here they are two SCR's for the horizontal deflection and I have lots of magazine articles about how difficult these are to fix when there's a problem in the uh, horizontal deflection high voltage circuit. It's like the IF is right here. Got two big TO3 package jobbies there. Uh, let's see, what is this? A CTC what? Looks like it unhinges. It's on, oh here it is, right here. CTC. No? They usually have it just printed. Oh, am I shaking? Oh, there it is, CTC-74. wonder why it says CDM. I believe it's a CTC-74. Oh, there we go. CTC-74. 
CTC 74. Oh, and it uses some high tech. So, is this an in? Oh, look at the transparent. Is this some high tech inline? It must be an inline gun because it's using the convergence magnets and not the electrostatic convergence. Not electrostatic, electromagnetic convergence cloverleaf deal. So are we going to have to look this up and see what this is? 19... 19VGQTC... 19 okay, well there's a 19VGQP22, which is socket 1, which seems to fit. So we'll try that. Set heater. G1. Okay, cut off. Ooh, that's a good sign. Well, it's not super strong, but at least we know the socket is good. And it probably hasn't been run since the 80s. Okay, test. Blue is marginal, but this tester is a little bit picky anyway, so that, that'll produce a usable picture. You can tell it's been opened plenty of times when there are four different screws holding the back on. Looks like we got a Japanese screw, a wood screw, and I don't even know what all. Okay, so that's the XL100 Color Track RCA. If you're familiar with the, any of these, if you worked on these when they were new, I know Radio TV Phono not probably knows all the pattern problems with this. Post a comment down below with the pattern problems with these sets if anyone watching worked on these when they were a hot thing, which this probably would have been a hot thing in 1985. It's probably when these started to phase out. Here's the next one. This is a uh, early 70s zenith it's like what a 12 or 13 inch color portable it's got a w on it does that mean works or whacked what does that mean i actually have another one of these And see someone was using it up into the 75 ohm era. I think this is a 14 tube portable. Let's see, let's open it up. And a wildlife did we have come out of this one? What is this? It's a spider. 14 DC 15. Yes, I believe I have another one of these. Uh, the filament popped on the horizontal output tube on mine, and I actually ordered the tube, but I never got back around to fixing it. So let's see, what do we got here? Does this look factory? It does. It's a thing of beauty. Gotta love these Zeniths. The chaotic nature of that right there. 14 tube with extra dust. So let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 14 tube. Very, very, very marginal. That's cut off. 
So uh, it could be asleep. It might wake up a little bit, but um, you know, usually if they're good, they're good. That whole waking up after so many years is kind of a, a fallacy in a way. Okay, set cut off. Yeah, yeah, it might, it might, you might be able to clean it. Pitiful. So green sucks. Red is booming strong, green is garbage. Let me wiggle the socket a little bit. It would produce a picture, but it certainly wouldn't be stellar. Yep, green is almost, green was five degrees from being wide open. Let's see. I do this so so green is about wide open red you could see the dust mark on the top of it red was uh, about 20 degrees from wide open and blue is wide open Interesting, so this one has a tired CRT. It also, you can kind of tell it's high hour. It's had a lot of the vacuum bulbs replaced. Sylvania. And no, you can't tell what the condition of a vacuum tube is by looking at the envelope. Unless the getter is white, that's the only time you can condemn a vacuum tube based on what the glass looks like on the inside. If only it was that easy to diagnose. Here's the flyback. Flybacks rarely fail in Zenith, but they can. Nothing like RCA. Late 60s, 19 inch, Zenith, probably another 14 tube. Karoti doodle. This is all metal. The drop down door. These things almost had to be all metal. The power consumption is so high, there's so much heat, they just melt the plastic case. I hope this CRT is in good shape. I really like these even though this one's a bit corroded. Fourteen A ten C twenty nine Z. Wow, it's got the original Zenith horizontal output and damper. Or I should say, well, so check this out. Zenith glued these tubes in when they were new from the factory. If you look at a lot of this era Zenith, they always had a little like chunk of mastic or silicone. And look at that is, that is not broken away. That is the original tube. Now this one, I don't see any glue on it. Look at that tube. The tube is not even in the socket all the way. And the glue is what's holding it there. I guess, did the thing get dropped? Wow. 
Wow. So is this all original? The vertical output's original. That's original. All the tubes look original. Wow, that's... Of course, of course... Oh, oh, that's a nice way to service the tuner. Yeah, just, just bend it out of the way. Just, yeah, rip it off. That's, that's real professional. That's even more professional than just taking it out and throwing it in the trash. These use the color demod IC, that little thing right there. That's a color demodulation IC. Here we go. Are we going to get a tin here? Hopefully we're going to get a tin here. I sure hope so. Well, that's pretty sad. On this one, red is... Jeez. You can kind of tell by where these are set. Um, you know, what the idea was when it was put into storage. Of course, like on the previous TV, if it's all the way maxed out, you know that the tube was getting tired and they were slowly cranking this up to get it to produce but this is weird that red is so damn dead on this thing So, clean and balance. Clean and balance. Let me read the instructions on how to clean the red gun. Stand by. Push the restore button below the meter for the gun selected. Pointer will rise immediately. Hold button until pointer begins to fall. Release button when pointer falls to falls to two. Note if pointer does not continue to fall, observe short slamp. So falls to two. Am I really going to do this? There's a risk. It didn't fall to two. Okay. Well, that... That seemed to make it happy. Sort of happy. It's not fully happy. It seems to be dropping. We're just going to power this up, this cold power. There we go. Just do a hard 
brute force power up. It's glowing. So the red was weak. just working except the tuner's dirty and yeah there's no red let's do a quick setup convergence is trash wanted to see if it would get channel six and of course it gets channel six except the sound died where'd the sound go hmm bummer it's working there's another Zenith Chroma Color. Probably another four tube hybrid. Wonder if this CRT would fit in that metal tabletop. This looks kind of minty. Minty. Double mint. Six LF six. It's like a sixty or seventy dollar tube. I don't see the silicone on these. Is that original? No, it's a Sylvania. So it's, it would appear this has more hours than the other one, but the other one had a unhappy red gun. Nineteen VC, whatever. Well, is anybody home? It's coming up. Let's give it a minute. Well, that's what I would call pretty lackluster. That's pretty sad. Baked. It would produce a picture, but it'd probably be smeary and cloudy and kind of crappy looking. Guess we could just plug this one in too. Who cares? It's almost parts. Let's see where these are set. Yeah. Plenty of headroom there. I wonder why it tests so weak. Where's the uh, where's the power button on this? Is this it right here? High voltage just came up and I hear the vertical. And we have a picture, not a picture, but a raster. I have to power this up again. I wonder how the spider responds to that high voltage. Oh, come on. Don't walk off of it before the tubes warm up. Damn it. Oh, there he goes. All the way to the ground. What do we got going on here? Come on. Smashy smash. Oh. Whatever. 
be pretty good to be able to just squirt out your own lifeline like that. Officials call a flex alert. Billions of them know exactly what to This do. is the Turning off unneeded lights, adjust chroma the color with the weak checking CRT. And I just turned it on. Prevented power outages in the past. And it starts out a little blurry and dim, but after it warms up, it really has a great picture. And yeah, I don't need a flat screen. This is good enough for as much TV as I watch. I'll let it warm up a second. Most important part of you, your brain. Well, this CHP post says it best, not something you see every day. Officer Morowski of the Antelope Valley area took these pictures yesterday afternoon in what appears to be a derailed train under a northbound 14 freeway near Avenue H. Well, it turns out that it was a modified Isuzu made to look like a train. The driver was heading to Burning Man in Nevada when he fell asleep and he drove oh off the freeway into a ravine. Uh, the driver's okay, the train is a wreck. All that work, wow. and then he drives off yeah, the freeway. No kidding, I was like a Burning Man. How, how can you control that? <laughs> it looks like pretty, you know, CHP officers, they see it all, don't yeah. they? Yeah, no kidding. Well, we have a little, little heat wave coming to Southern California. It's not too severe, so don't get too worried about it, but it is. One more would be this little black and white admiral, but we'll save this for another day. It'll resurrect this little turd right here. Oh, another spider, man. What's up with these spiders? Absolutely freaking pitch black dirty. Clean, cleaning up real nice, so I've been just kind of playing around with the minty 14A10C29Z. And the reason why the audio went away is the uh, audio output tube, the 6Z10, failed. And I hate to change it because these tubes are all original. I believe that the aftermarket Zenith tubes are have red lettering on them. So, but, and then I played with the convergence and did all the setup. And this thing is producing a beautiful picture, except the convergence is shifting around so something's wrong and it could be the I wonder if this has a selenium diode on the back of it I'll fire it up right here real quick in the thick of it all tonight anarchy on the streets of one of the world's financial centers Hong Kong protesters charging a priest with sticks see how the convergence is way off that's the sound. Then it warms up, it'll straighten out. Since the three month fight for the future of this city erupted. Police firing a warning shot, then pointing their weapons directly at demonstrators. One officer losing control with a Something shifts with the blue. Even water cannons I'm gonna let it warm up and you'll see a beautiful picture. And there it goes. A lot of emotion there. All right, Stephanie, thank you. And America strong tonight. Louisiana beating Curacao eight to zero to win the little league world. It has an absolutely beautiful picture. I know it's hard to see out here. It's Louisiana's because it's so bright, but all the colors are bright and vibrant and sharp. Sunday, what one homeowner is calling his humiliating encounter with police, handcuffed in his own home. The only problem with it is there's jitter up and down, and I believe that's due to those white capacitors leaking and shorting and being noisy in the vertical circuit. Those have to be replaced. But awesome picture. I thought that red gun was weak, but and not even. It looks beautiful. These are two tabletops I picked up out of town uh, on another mine exploring trip into Utah. Utah is now the hot spot for mines. Um, this is the first one, and we'll pop the back off. The lighting is good this morning. We'll pop the back off and check the CRT. Yes, I did bring a CRT tester. You should always check the CRT on a set before uh, you purchase it. But I got such a good deal on these and being tabletops, you know. I just love these uh, late late 60s, early 70s tabletops. This is a Zenith Chroma Color. Somehow the knobs got busted off of this one, but I should have some knobs. 
It's like a 19 inch. I wonder if this is a all saw. Uh, it doesn't say solid state, so it's probably got some vacuum bulbs in it. I wonder what this is for. I wonder if this was a, a remote control holder. I wonder if this is a remote set. Plastic video. So I'm going to pop the back off and we'll plug the CRT tester into the inverter and see if it's any good. It's a beautiful morning out here. Try and do this before the sun comes up and starts cooking me. Well, look at that. Who can name which board has been replaced, which module has been replaced? It's pretty obvious. It's actually a high common failure module on these, which is the audio module. Um, NTE makes that chip. Original CRT. Four tube hybrid. Horizontal oscillator discharge 6U10. Then uh, damper vertical output. And this tube here. I'm blanking out on the number. Um, some of these are worth a ton of money that use them as RF outputs and CB linears. 6LF6, that's it. 19DC11, 1218, so it's a 19DC chassis with motor, with drive motor. So is this, this is not a remote set. So what another thing that's good, this uses the molded focus divider resistor, which is that little thing right there. Because the as I've shown in previous videos, the ones that are a bunch of resistors on a circuit board, the circuit board becomes conductive and starts arcing. These used a um, tripler, of course. So the flyback has less windings on the secondary, which is pretty intelligent because then you don't get the high voltage potential and the flyback melting down. Just the triplers fail like crazy. So let's put the CRT tester on it and have a look. It's so quiet out here, I can hear the transformer in the... Uh, tester here humming either that it's it doesn't like the um, step square step square wave artificial sine wave for my oh look at that that's promising already that's just cut off wow that's oh that shouldn't have done that what happened there I think there's something wrong in this socket. Either that. I guess these lights are supposed to come on if there's a short. Yeah, there's something wrong in this socket. Hold on, let me play with it. Yeah, if I wiggle the socket, I can get it to work. So now, now our cutoffs look really, really good. This is very promising. So what you do is you bring them up just one little notch there. Bring that one up one little notch. Bring that one up one little notch. Bring that one up one little notch. Like that. Wow. That is a minty fresh CRT. And what's weird is you'd think by the look of it, the, the amount of dirt... You'd think that um, 
it's got a lot of hours on it well i got news for you that is that is a happy times crt all right i got one more here in the car we'll pull out and take a look at here's a look at the hand wired portion of the underside of the chassis thing of beauty so many colors Zenus like to eat the vertical output transformer too i don't know if these years did it this transformer here but the more modern ones the especially the consoles like the late 60s the 14 tube and the 20 tube they like to those vertical output transformers have a high failure rate the insulation fails because there's really high voltage pulses on the primary side of that thing hey here's the next one this looks like a late 60s rca i took I took the channel selector knob off. I got that, got that stored away. They broke these off, but I should have those. All metal. FL484, pop the back off and check the CRT in this one real quick. Maybe it's like a CTC 19 or 27. CTC 27 XAA. A bunch of six GH8s. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. This looks kind of high hour. Look at the inside of this one. Is this a hybrid two or is it? No, this is all tube. No tripler. Should probably look at the flyback and see how melted it is. It's inside here. Yep. dust what are you eating beefaroni again yep. for breakfast huh yeah, well, yeah. did you see that video of that woman picking the chef boyardee raviolis apart and they had insects in them no, I didn't see that. you're missing out man here we go with this crappy socket again let's see yeah there we go Yeah, she was feeding them to her kid, and she noticed that there was a fly inside them, so she's picking all the raviolis apart. It's all made by a machine, right? Oh, yeah. The flour and yeast and cow goes in one side of the factory, and the rotten tomatoes and the raviolis come out the other side. Okay, this socket is very flaky. So this one's good too, not as good as the Zenith, but pretty hot. Some kind of, I don't know, bug that has, I don't know, legs. Here's another bug with legs. You can see it's legs right there. And an actual larva. Mmm, tasty. Of this Chef Boyardee mini ravioli. And it was only a freak. <laughs> I still eat it. 
I still eat it. How did she find it? I need a quarter inch to get this open. Crap. I mean, the reality of it is there's nothing wrong with insects, right, as far as food. I mean, there's some cultures that just eat those things, like as a nutrient. Well, yeah. But in America, it's, you know, it's like... Yeah, it's taboo, they're nasty, and she's probably just trying to get rich, probably just trying to get them to pay out to whatever, issue a f written statement. That's, that's how it works, you know, the company's got to make a statement, a public statement. they got to be available for contact by the news agency. I, this looks good. This is not like all melty. And these are the very, very high failure rate in RCA. These things like to arc out and it's got a Zenith tube in it. All right. When we get them home, we'll fire them up. It's a CTC 27 XAA 1968. I almost forgot about this. I saw this and I had to grab it. I always loved this logo. I always loved that bird with the note logo. This is a sort of an interesting AM bandwidth. It's got a tuning eye. in poor shape but I can make this work again of course it's got a um, it's one heavy tuner no amp I don't believe Wonder if this has silver mica disease. So this is how you get a chroma color four yeah, tube hybrid. This, this is how you gotta get a chroma color today. You have to. They don't come easy. All in beautiful condition. This is a uh, blanking out on it right now. It's a uh, uh, one of the first post-war. Why am I blanking out? I guess it's just overload. Too many dish heaters baking my brain. And they were all up there. And more old radio stuff here. That is the weirdest looking lamp.
old ice box. General Electric. Oh, that's got refrigeration. That's interesting. Probably still works too. I wonder if this is a compressor. I think it is. Yeah, it's a compressor and condenser on top. How cool. And then all up there is TVs. Nice display. Okay, this is Fry's Electronics, and I'm parked right in the front. Look at how faded the sign is. You used to be able to not even get parking here. This store used to be so hot, and this is right in front of the store. So I'm going to sneak in here and see. It's like a silent EOL. It's just circling the drain. Like parking, look at it, it's just empty. The NTE stuff is still pretty much in good stock. This is all NTE, this is all NTE capacitors. NTE 712, I think. It'll be routers. And this, I think these just all be cat cables. I don't know. Yeah, that's something an uh, electronic store should have, sure. They don't have anything else of use. Basic except NTE 712, which is the Chromacolor sound demodulation chip that always, always goes bad. They're high-end graphics cards, or else the, they were. End of the line. God, I remember when this store was packed and popping. What was hot now is not. I mean, this sucker is dead. Twenty-five bucks for a record. I think I'll stick with eBay. Wow, they're repressing all this seventies and eighties. Vinyl. I know it's all 70s and 80s vinyl, 60s and 70s. The 
This used to be like their little Amazon jungle thing. It's now like all dead and you see the filtration equipment and the murky water filled with mosquitoes. Ungroomed dead, dead palm trees. This used to be like such an oasis. Look at that. Looks like some abandoned building. Looks like it's a yard and some abandoned house. Still lots of this junk. Nobody did buy it, but plenty of it. Okay. Go ahead. I think this was like an Amazon themed store. Nobody. And you used to have to wait in line. Check out the moss. You know, it needs to be cleaned occasionally, don't you think? Oh, it's just that it's out and out. Yeah, and it smells like old water in the store. Mi no, I think those are makeups. Ooh. Mixed metals, so it's probably like lead, cadmium, mercury. I don't know. All the carts are up front. Oh, yeah. It's like guns and computer stuff. Yep, the morgue. Look at how the fascia of the building is all dilapidated and the paint's coming off.